So I see against BC Jolly uh, weird map spawns, but looks like this map is completely symmetrical, so it doesn't really matter. Second air from Icy and probably, yeah, same from Jolius. Seven power generators, six power generators. Not sure what exactly it changed for them. This map is really weird to see the spots, so maybe just <laughs> still looks weird. <laughs> Okay, um, basically on this map you have um, your main base kind of including those four extractors here and those four extractors here. You should get them in like no matter what you usually get them. Um, and on this map you have uh, a lot of reclaim here, you can see. I see is getting it as well as Jolie. So you have to spam a lot of power in order to just spend this mass. Two scouts and transport immediately. Strange decision to fly through the middle. Looks like IC wasn't really playing much for a very long time. However, I think you can actually land transport in the middle if you send interceptor and then transport and try to land like right here actually not not much safe sa safe space to land here bomber and interceptors from Jolie not uh, super fast power spam from IC and same with his factory spam, one engineer here, one engineer there. Oh my god. So we'll see all transports for all factions. I think they all have 500 HP. That's great. Almost great. <laughs> nice move, but... Unfortunately, uh, also you should notice that engineers tanked a lot of damage from anti-air. It they really barely landed. Some bomber micro killed one engineer here, and about to kill another. N no dodge micro, just just move command. 
engineer spam for reclaim from this factory, some factory spam around T1 extractors to get adjacency, some idle engineers. So far, um, just as in last game between these two players, Jolie just spamming units and buildings as fast as possible and actually again getting mass storages which is which is a little bit weird uh, we can actually try to see five auroras scout and artillery is unit combination for IC huge power stall and more like mass stall for Jolie but he is reclaiming it's okay he has three engineers on power that's that's pretty much a lot so no one expanded on sites yet and in most of games it's actually hard to expand on sites and people don't really like to do it it's even better to get some reclaim than expands on, on sites also around this middle rocks there are most of reclaim on this map you can see how many stones here they really uh, huge amounts around those rocks so this this map is mostly about reclaim and actually watching reclaim counts is pretty important 3000 mass and 2000 power and almost same for IC However, he does not reclaim stones as aggressively as uh, Jolie does it. It looks like some sort of eco mod, or I'm not sure if he is doing it manually or it's eco mod. Oh, it's it's not eco mod. You can see he manually selected all extractors that he had. And actually he is not upgrading any of them, he just did it for the later. Oh, here is one that's upgrading. Uh, drop drop for IC from 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 mm. six engineers from Jolie dropping here, but it's always hard to do anything because some units here and you can't do much. Better just drop around those rocks to get rec reclaim. Just wondering, uh, 16 factories from J uh, Jolie, 14 factories from IC, and first two ex first two extractors I'm grading from Jolie. He has slight advantage in everything. Not even sure why. Also, you can see it's A and against A and some light assault bots. Mm, I think it's pretty useful, useless. Uh, really good um, reclaiming here. That's kind of misclick. So many light assault bots. He misclicked somewhere. They die from two shots against Aurora. Looks like drop from here did not do much. Engineers just go on reclaim. Um. Uh, 
Are there any upgrading going on? Actually, I see is not spamming from all factories he have, and that's good for his eco. And he have more mass income because Jolie is power stalling while making it to power. It's pretty usual situation, but he have a lot of raiders. One in the main base could be turned off. Oh, also when you have six engineers somewhere that be building factories, it's each one consuming 35. They... You can lose, I mean you can bow stall while they doing that. Um, so, actually it's stronger spam from IC and now he is getting HQ, T2 HQ. So he can start uh, make two tanks and get more and more map control. Send the engineer to the lab to build extractors. But I'm convinced that in reclaiming, Jolie should be much ahead. Uh, 16,000 mass and power and only 10,000 mass from IC. He's not reclaiming rocks, he's more like reclaiming this power reclaim with one factory without splitting those engineers. And Zoli using his ACU to get some free kills. Also air advantage could probably... Oh! That's first major air fight no micro from Jolie and some micro from IC this one is actually on move command it's not shooting anything it's not even trying to shoot any anything but that's okay in T1 interceptors it's not really easy to get some advantages from micro This run by of T1 is not killing much stuff yet. Uh, maybe just killing tanks efficiently, but eventually it's more like reclaim for Johnny. However, he have actually he have enough to reclaim. Oh, actually reclaim it here a lot. T2 engineer on reclaim mission. Um, and this T2 power rush put uh, Jolly behind in unit count, but he have normal power advantage that he can use to tech uh, something. Maybe next power generator is a little bit too much unless he is going for tech 3 air. Actually, for now, oh, a strange decision maybe. I see going straight for this wreckage in the middle. <laughs> yeah, but these buildings actually, I think, have a lot of power inside of them. I see realizing that he don't have much air, and that's pretty much dangerous. And he constructing more air factories. On the right, more spam from uh, Jolie, it seems, but it's more like harassment. They are not in big, one big chunk. Actually, all this stuff here is denied from Jolie. He can hold this position. You can actually construct walls like this if you want. Turtle hardcore, you can construct walls here. Oh, wait, it's actually a good idea to construct a wall like this. I may use it in some of my games. So you kinda zone out this attack path and 
send you spam here to secure those four extractors so really fast taking from jolly this um, run by of units not denying the most juicy replay in the mountains in the middle of the map I think IC really should use this engineer, maybe he can under construct, oh, he can construct some extractors. And IC, I think he should be fine, he, only thing he lost for extractors here, I mean Jolie should be fine. Those extractors looks like they were not upgrading. The, here all extractors are T2. Some denying going here. And with this T1 didn't kill all extractors. Uh, two carbringers on the field from uh, Jolie. It's actually a very good move to use T1 transport or T2 transport to move them around so Jolie is ahead in economy it seems 62 power from IC and 82 extractors and 10 for Jolie oh finally some reclamation with this engineer but need to kill other PDs to be able to construct extractors. Five kills bomber. So at least some use of air supremacy and huge amount of power. Harbinger zero kills. That's a bit strange. Oh, that's really good. No TMD planned for these four extractors. And not only, he can actually reach this extractor. And this T2 factory can be killed. Good move. Only, only hope it does not stuck in mountains. But Har Harbingers is pretty much unstoppable for IC. He's making it to air and a lot of uh, bombers, T1 bombers. A lot of T1 air. Resource location started from Jolie. Two PD is very good here. Probably gonna defend this expansion with two PD. Oh, ACU making PD creep for this expansion. Air advantage still belong to Jolie, as well as tech advantage and. Eco advantage, I would say. So all this because if let's check reclaim again, forty-one thousand reclaim, and twice less for IC. Looks like need raider here. Make raider with ACU. Harbingers uh, getting a lot of kills. This run by is is not killing anything, like not killing anything at all. The, this missile launcher got killed some somehow. I actually missed it. I'm not sure how it got killed. <laughs> I 
That's actually really strange. No idea how it got killed. And more reclaiming for Jolly to support his good land production. Few factories with harbingers, swift winds. All this while making resource allocation and power stalling. What Icy does is a lot of glazes and they don't kill harbingers very fast. Still mostly T1 land from Icy excluding glazes which not designed to fight against T2 and, and especially not designed to fight against Tech 3 sh with shields and some flares <laughs> so looks like clear win for BC Jolie because he got much more reclaim from, from those stones you can see it, a lot of stones still left for I see and even if he gets them it will be delayed. He was behind in economy for a very long time. Those extractors were here on T2 for a very long time. And you can see units trying to just attack this position with a lot of T1 PD and T2 PD, even mobile shield. They will be successful but it's not very cost effective cost effective and Harbingers moving to the main base Icy calls GG It's just more reclaim and better map knowledge from Jolie. It's not much related to the skill level of players. It's just knowing the map and experience. Strategic bombers were on the way from Jolie. Absolutely no counter from IC because not even Tech 3 HQ done. Only two air. Actually, Swift Winds can take out strategic bombers, but it's too late. Again, Jolie just had uh, almost, I think, more than twice more mass reclaim, mostly because of stones and some pretty uh, poor attacks from IC. So that's it. Um, one game for Jolie and one game for Icy.